her husband was a CBS. It's a construction, a construction yard inside the Navy. I watched you miss Robin. Yes. Good what? Yesterday. I'm counting on you, dude. I'm counting on this guy. Like, his I freaking made up for her, dude. Today I shot him a triple digits just to let him have it. Yeah. There's the teacher and there's the student, right? Yeah. You had to say, okay. That's cool. I thought I was going to get all spicy and like display my leather. There was like a, we were like, yeah, the thermal is starting to kind of do it. I'm like, Kind of just I know. give it a little bubble. I know. You've heard of this? Yeah, I just like just fade out that little bit. Okay. Yeah. 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 That white habit is freaking so dusty. Yeah. 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 Actually, I streaked it, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There was there just a streak break. There was a streak down. At triple digit? No, yesterday it wasn't. Today I, I redeemed myself by going here. Back it up. We got rid of the dead weight. Josh Jones is sleeping in. He knows we're shooting the Rocky Mountain Oak Foundation course. Yeah, potentially, now nah, I'm playing. And then Jeff, he's sleeping in. But we got the legend, Bob Lagasa. Travis from maybe Oregon or Dalton, maybe from Oregon. And Will is also going to help us film. He's Australian. I want to get him on camera because I love his accent. We're going to shoot him up, boys. Bring you guys along today, day two tack. Hopefully he'll pull out a knife. That's the That's knife. That's not a, I gave him a knife. Yes. Where are you from? Halfway. Uh, so, Baker City. Oregon. Yes. Yeah. Oregon. Oregon. Just yeah. Oregon. Baker Dan? City, 53 Travis? miles yep. east to the middle it's of Travis. Travis, and what was your bodyguard's name? Buck. 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 <laughs> it's my little brother. Oh, Richie. cool. So. And you're filming? Yeah, I'm gonna try. Are you taking photos or filming? Uh, kind of both. All right, good deal. Let's get up. Did you guys sign waivers? Yeah, did it yesterday. No. Perfect. Let's... <laughs> Uh, Travis Dillaboo from Lakeview, Oregon. Uh, work for Lake County School District. Uh, bus mechanic. Been in archery hunting for 20 years or so. No. Just tell them to go hang out there and we'll take them if there's room in the load. They missed their time. Like, we got a lot of people signed up. Hey guys, it's Mike Merrill, one of my dudes. How's it going? Nicest, most positive guy ever. You'll never see him in a bad mood. Rick Pierce, buddy for a long time. Elk killer, extraordinaire. All right, how'd you find archery? Uh, I've been doing it my whole life, actually. As soon as I could uh, pull a little Walmart youth bow, my dad had one in my hands, and I've loved it ever since. So, According to my parents, the first hunting season after I was born, they had me at elk camp. So That's worthy of, that's worthy of an autograph. Get out of here. Get off the mountain. He doesn't even know what hot dog is. Yeah, that's terrible. Gosh. So is it that time of the month? Is that where you're bleeding? Or? <laughs> I, think I'm a, I think I might be a 10. Maybe. Okay, took two targets uh, before we had a casualty. <laughs> how are we feeling about TAC? Hey, at least I got the first one out, I think. We'll see how well we do the rest of the day. You just tell Dal Dalton what branch to hit and he'll get it for you, don't worry. I, I got love for Oregon, what I would, I didn't hear foam. That's, I'm not the only I didn't hear foam. <laughs> no foam. But, nothing but net. I need but Eastern net. Washington, and I'll even include the Dallas on the Eastern Oregon side. I need us to combine oh, into yeah. our own state. But you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. We gotta combine that. Yes, and they're if we can maybe even it. steal some of North Idaho. They're working on trying to get part of Northern California, Eastern Oregon, well, what'd you part say? of Washington, unfortunately. No, no I'm out. I'm, I'm out. Yeah. Nice. Nice seven and a half. <laughs> These are the hardest <laughs> shots in the beginning, and then it kind of smooths up. So, uh, is it more nerve wracking waiting on the cameraman? A little bit. How many arrows? way out of shape, so that doesn't help much. Any arrows down? Zero down so far. On number five. Oh wait, speaking of down there, what we got there? Uh, the Idaho twos from Crispy. So far, love them. Sexy so far, time. The best, com most comfortable boots I've ever worn. That sun pokes through. I can feel it later. A lot of different jobs. One of them, I was a milkman, and I drove around with the milk truck, and you know, delivered milk. 
And this one uh, one day, I pull up into the neighborhood, and I go up to the door, open up the box there, and uh, look at the menu that she wants. 25 gallons of milk. I'm like, this is not right. Knock on the door and said, Mrs. Johnson, your menu says you want 25 gallons of milk. She goes, I know. I read in Vogue magazine, if I take a milk bath, that'll just stop the aging process. I said, that's pretty cool. I said, do you want that pasteurized? She goes, no, just put up to my tits. I'll splash it in my own eyes. <laughs> first bear I killed with my bow we were actually coming out of the hills it was getting late uh, still within shooting light happened to see him off coming down the hill off the road so I got out walked down the hill a ways caught him about 35 yards shot sounded good he barked real good we found him I was too excited to leave him overnight much more peaceful uh, any ideas why that might be peaceful uh, I'm enjoying today a lot more. I don't know. I haven't figured out why yet. It just it's got a good vibe. It's got a good vibe. I love the elk course. It's my favorite course. But this is elk shape. I mean, any surprises? These guys are awesome. Again, we're undefeated, hanging out with badass subscribers. Kudos to all y'all. You're amazing. Of course. It's my Shot right. Big six by. Those are the They're good. Yeah, I like them. Yeah. I like they're like what? Two and a half? I feel a little out of place. Everybody's Whoa. everybody's Whoa. Like crispy. Uh, I know. True asshole. He's yeah. the man. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, he's got an arsenal of jokes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They got oh, they get what's to the a range, booth? Crispy. Is that booth gonna crispy. be busy today? Crispy. Like, always busy. Good, good. Yes, I didn't know it's the rain, so oh, I, I crispy. Mean, Focus on like date night with my wife. We go right. back, we go e bike riding uh -huh. yeah, that'd be up awesome. in the mountains, watch the sunset, that'd drink be cool. a beer or two, and then ride out. He Our just submitted to drinking right and driving, but folks. Yeah. <laughs> cool. That's all I can hear. He's driving. Dan. Bryce, you yeah. kill it? I hit Are we foam? shooting too? Dude, I, it made me realize how horrible it is. Not that you're ever going to have to use it. Maybe. Right. Pops when I'm older. Hey, Will. I heard you had the clap so bad they called it applause. <laughs> Get <laughs> You dog. <laughs> well, well, how did your family feel the first time you got chlamydia from that koala? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to that. There was lots of broken air. Which one is that? The hands again. If you live here, you gotta Montana get a muzzle arrest. loader. <laughs> because there's a thing called the Montana muzzle loader. Okay. You gotta bat. Uh oh. Oh, that didn't sound so good. Usually most screen everybody up. internet where you live? Nice. That sounded good. Looks good. So we'll yeah. Dalton, how did you find elk shape? Uh, bow nut. Um, I enjoy the tinkering and the playing, trying out new yeah. things, getting better. So how has elk shape changed you as an archer? I didn't know all the, say, all the fine-tuning details and whatnot, and I've learned a lot about it on the channel. Arrow weights, sight positioning, third axis, that type of thing. Finding what works for you and stick with it. And if that starts to fail you, find something better. I don't trust other people to do my own stuff, so I'd prefer to do it myself kind of person. Because I know I, I'm very OCD in a sense in that way. So I know if I set it up and something's wrong, I can blame myself and not somebody else. But the course has been awesome. The chatter, no negative down puts real hard, you know. I mean, it's been light and uplifting, which is nice to have. This Rocky Mountain course has been awesome. Um, I'm doing some good elk hunting this year, got some great tags and wanted to hit it to practice up for the the hopefully successful season that I have. What was it like when you got the phone call from Dan? I actually missed it. Um, I was at a benefit and couldn't answer the phone with no service. So I listened to the voicemail. It was awesome to hear the voicemail. So how far did you drive to get here? Uh, 12 and a half hours. And did you have a pretty good time today? It was great, yep. You know, it's actually the camaraderie and you think these people are so different than you and you come out and you shoot with them. And it's just like shooting with your buddies, actually. There's been jokes flying all day, meeting lots of new people from all over the country and the state. It's been great. So I know black gold, but I don't know what he's got going on right here. 
I'm gonna wanna ask him about this. And then he's got some cheat codes in writing down here that he didn't think I was gonna notice. But the dude's doing something. Um, what the hell's going on here, bud? So this is a rangefinder, and I've got it set up for elk. This is the code to change the pins for whatever you're hunting that who season. Who makes this? I can't remember who makes that. And who turned you on to it? Um, I was looking for a cheap, inexpensive rangefinder for in the in, in the, the moment, moment. Yep. Type. Yep. It sticks to the side. You. The put cool the thing pin is, uh, pin. whoever's watching this video. People will know, they'll comment, they'll tell everybody what it's about. Yep. But you got a little cheat code down here for different species. Yep. So what is that you got? It's set up for elk right now. Okay, so you got um, an elk. There's mule deer, there's whitetail. Uh, I think that's all I have on there. So 50 yard hold 15. Yeah, what so- What the hell does that mean? So you count 15 pins down from the top. Okay. And that's where your 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 nugget goes over here. You're... This is a tinker, you're a tinkerer. That's why he likes the channel. We like tinkerers. We're not changing stuff to just change stuff. We're pursuing perfection and we're honing our craft and we're trying to show up fully prepared so that we can stack that freezer. And yep. I think, how many oak tags you got? One. And you've never killed a bull? Never killed a bull. And you're gonna do it this year? We're hoping. All right, man. Yep. Friends, thanks for watching Total Archer Challenge. Love the challenge and the repetition in the mountains in God's country and we love the people, the community. Never have I been disappointed shooting with the subs. So yes, we will do this again next year. I don't know where. We want to give back to you. Thanks for watching. Look at that. Best beard of the <laughs> I weekend. You to get that eight, level. eight years. Yep. So legit. Does it ever get yep. in the way of the shot? No. Is Not it yet. part of the shot process now? Yeah. Give it a little, and then it, you know. Dude, it's you look just a Viking. <laughs> where are you from? Utah. Utah, what's your yeah. name? Jason. Jason? Jason with the best beard game on the mountain. Look him up. <laughs> you didn't, uh, you didn't yeah. let on that you knew what you were doing. You're just kind of a, yeah, yeah. a hobbyist, kind of yeah. just encouraging along. Cool. Sweet, man. You do? What's your name? Carson. Carson, I'm Dan. Hit me up. What are you shooting today? Uh, we're shooting the Sitka right now. How old are you? 11. Carson's 11. Where are you from? Uh, Canada. BC. I love Canadians. What part of BC? Cranbrook. Cranbrook. I was just driving through there not too long ago. Beautiful. You, that's awesome. Is this your squad? Is that your brother? What's his name? Cohen. Cohen. Who's better? Me. They both say they're better. Can you guys beat Dad? Yeah. Smoke Dad. Oh, we can go for Navi shot and see if our thing's up, up there. Mike Hearn. Dan. Good to meet you. Let's go, man. Sloan is a uh, tall archery country. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Mika, Colorado. Yeah. I live in Idaho. Adding 10 more targets to the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation to make it the absolute best course of elk hunter. Ugh. I just don't want to carry that thing with targets. You can delegate it, bro. You are a professional. No, no, no. The target, it's space. The capacity of the trailer. Minis. All minis. The just do all minis. Done. Yeah. Minis and egg. If you complain, then you're out. Yeah. Work on your game. You know what? I'll just do 25 elk minis. I would. I'm in. But you are elk shaped, so yeah. you're kind of biased. If when I get a little more loot, I'm in a sponsor. It's going to be the <laughs> yeah. elk shaped course. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, yeah, man. Oh man, Hensley. got me some shoulders. You helped me out with the shoulder workout, okay. brother. I appreciate it. You bet. I started My when honor. I was 49 hunting, bow hunting, so. Now I'm 52. Uh, yeah. Welcome aboard. Shoulders so. feeling good? Yeah, brother. Awesome. Best they've ever felt. Yup, all eight. this is his fault. This is Sean DeGray. This is the guy. This, this is his deal. Thanks for being here. Yeah, absolutely. He won't, you won't ever know. He's very shy. So I tell him. That's he's awesome. He's I appreciate it. Here. Oh, you filming? This is yeah. Caleb Perry <laughs> Matthews. This is my dude, but he decides oh, to do Murph. Yeah, Did you say out of shape? shape? Yeah, way out of shape. Yeah. Don't try that at home, kids. So, what are we doing? We get it healed up. Sweet, awesome. All right, I'm good therapy. PT? Yeah. Are you getting scraped or no, manipulated? Like oh, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Cousin. You're good. Cousin? Yeah. What? You live here? Yeah. So That's your yeah. mom. Yep. Yeah. That's cool. Born and raised my family. This is my niece. Hi, I'm Dan. I'm Lori. Nice to meet you. Cool, yeah. Your niece is probably a huge fan. Good. Yeah, so are we. She's so good. Arrow's in the freaking... Ryan has Ryan. We couldn't like, get it out. Yeah, I don't think we could get that out. No. We try, I knew it was your guys, so we try a little. I was like, well, they're strong, and they couldn't get it. There's two of us just yanking around. Like, you, you met Josh? I haven't met Josh. This is Hi. Josh Jones. How you doing? Josh. Today? Sean. Josh. Where are you from? Uh, originally from Washington. Yeah, we shot yesterday. Yeah. Pretty good. We shot the second course. It's hard. I've been there, done that. Wow. I was waiting over there to find you. I know. This is it. Do you 
hear that? You gotta gun it. You've never heard this? I'm getting hard. <laughs> you guys heard of this? I'm getting drunk, this is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now chug. Tip back. White Claw! White Claw! Yeah! Hey. Josh, That's we're here cool. to talk about your drinking problem. Later. <laughs> it's all over you. The leading expert on, on cocks. Talk about up cocks. Let's talk about fletching up, down. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, cock gotcha. Flight. You like cocks up, so you like shooting, cocks down. You're shooting really long ways, right? If you put your cock feather, this oh. dirty buggers like this, and turn it straight down, it'll give you the most clearance over this. So you're, if you hit this, your arrow's gonna fly crazy. You can gain five to 10 yards if you're shooting cock feather up by shooting cock feather down. And most fall away arrow rests will give you full clearance no matter which way you point it. Well, you'd second guess yourself like too if you had a receding mohawk like him. <laughs> So, homeboy, go. we got some boo-boo. We got a little boo-boo, it happens. That's a boo-boo, how much roll we got? Still got a lot of load on it. Derailed. Uh, <laughs> the the world's greatest tech. He's the best bow smith You like planet. watch YouTube at all? Really. YouTube uh, podium archer in elk shape later. Oh, jeez. I right? know <laughs> elk shape. That's elk shape. Oh, the guy who's seen in all my videos, he does on channel two. It's like, I just didn't think you were that short, right? That's what you guys <laughs> yeah. guess. I did think like, you were I tall. I still so thought you were tall. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, Mike, that's so. a lot. Kind What's that? Wow, <laughs> taller, huh? Kind of black. Uh, does that feel good, Mike? To say that? I, yeah, <laughs> Mike's played his whole life. Yeah. Yeah. I get it all the time, too. I'm like, man, man, I thought you were going to be way bigger. I'm like, yeah, <clears throat> sorry. Sorry to disappoint. I make the camera guy shoot at a low angle, so I look okay, huge. Baby. Last year was the first year that Dan got to ride the rise. I know. <laughs> I know. And when you try to let it forward, it's on YouTube. Got to turn again. Don't worry. Okay. Yep. Hold on. <laughs> so that peep doesn't look straight. We're we're gonna go ahead and straighten your peep for you while we're here. Yeah. Yep. Little rotate the string. Little rotate. Little twist twist. So you're gonna do one of these. And one of those. It's a very dangerous tool. I strongly encourage people to use this as a last resort only, which is where we are. Officially have put your blow Get your out for that. Now I can look at your cams and make sure they're not bent so you don't derail it as soon as you drop back. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna to need to tighten that cord because that's stretched out because your limb moved. In fact, it's nice. yeah, it's okay. I just need to tighten it, that's fine. Um, yeah, so if you're vertically challenged, which I'm obviously not, uh, it's 67.1 yards with a 15 degree slope and we have a slight thermal going uphill and I'm going to not worry about any of that. Bury the pin, let her eat. Oh my god, is that you? <laughs> when you go up to the top, it'll stop and it'll spin because the teeth underneath here, I can show it to you. Uh -huh. Get down here. Now look at the top. You pulled the teeth out of it. Oh, fuck. Right? Yeah, that's not great. Yeah. yeah. So when you go up and then try to move it up really hard, or when you lock it in place and try to move it, you're pulling the teeth out. So you, when you need to go up, you can go all the way up, but you're only going to get it to go down by pushing it a little bit, and then it'll bite. Okay. So you can still use it. Yeah. And if you send it back to Black Gold, they'll repair it for you. We'd yeah. probably get three or four a year where somebody just did that. And you put it in a box, send it back, and you're good. And now YouTube will even know about your mistake. Oh, you're recording that? Uh, Fixing all the stuff. Being a midget sucks. <laughs> Find out if my sight's messed up or not, because it just fell over. I just over can't believe that that guy if I'm didn't know minute. who you were, because you're such a big deal. I mean, God. I can't believe that. Just want you so hard. Just to make sure. What is happening here? Hey, can you get more Aussie sound bites? Hey, do you want to narrate this, Josh's shot? Sure, go ahead. Like the Aussie guy? Oh, okay, yeah. Go. Get on. Oh, man. Yeah, Aaron just sent me that. Can you handle oh, it? Oh, I, I did. It moved my rest. Oh. Okay, now you're. Oh. Oh, Josh. Yeah. So it just happened at every tournament. Yeah. Crikey, look at that bugger. She's oh, fed. Right. Oh, look, look at that right. <laughs> she's. <laughs> yes. Hold on. Add some C words. Add some C words. Okay. It's okay. It's not bad because yeah, it's in Australia. Can you respect my wife, please? <laughs> oh, God. We did preface if this was okay. Yeah. Yeah. We asked. I yeah. Well, I need you. Come on. All right. You gonna shoot this, you useless? Come on. Oh, did you get hey, a get out of the way, Josh. Did you get a little integrate? You get out of the way. Hey, please don't touch. Does it say podium archer on the back? You want me to move? I'm yeah. Sorry. What yeah. happened? Dude, it fell on my rest. Look, see my rest moving? Mm. It fell on my rest. When the antlers fell off the deer, knocked right. my bow over, that and just, some rest. That just sounds like an Side excuse like to a, me, Josh. You want me to drop What's my bow? And, I'll drop my bow on the ground. Right got now and then pick it up and shoot that turkey. I'll shoot it right now. Hey. Wait, are you sure you want to get closer? 
Nope, I'm sure. Okay, but if I, if I miss by a lot, then I'm bolt, unbolting it off my bow and bolting it back on in a minute. Okay. But I need I Does anybody got a Sharpie? Sharpie? Anybody? Yeah, I carry one around for autographs. <laughs> probably wise out. I'm All still right, somebody, looking for my Somebody watch and tell me where this goes. Josh Jones, can I have your autograph? Who's watching this You're area? such a big deal. Mm, I heard it hit foam. Right. Yeah, it, look, it looked a little high. Are we good? A little bit. Now when are you going to completely miss it all together with those four vein arrows, man? Thank you very much. There you go. Hey. Get <laughs> <laughs> oh, take mine. That's a bummer. You ready? You think? Yes. Okay, man. Let her eat. What are you shooting? I have no release. Release. Oh, release. Oh, it needs a release. There you go. Oh. What else? <laughs> You guys got a new bow. <laughs> <laughs> I got one for my birthday, which was like on June 14th oh, last week. Oh, seriously, got a bow. You're just not ready, is all. Yeah. There you go. Good shot, you're okay. Okay. Everybody good. shot great. We're all in the vitals. Where's the oxygen? I read in Vogue. Not here, apparently. Why are you so tired, Josh? It'll stop the I'm old. Rock by. That's a rock. That was low, by the way. Yeah, you got the Aussie. Ooh. Oh! Guys, day two, tack, ran into this guy, this is Joe with BP, born primitive on the outdoor side of things. You're the director of operation. That's which right. Means you wear many hats. Yeah. You guys are tapping into the hunting vibe. A lot of guys have heard of born primitive, right. yeah. but a workout side of stuff, training. What are you excited about on the like the outdoor side of things? Yeah, I think with the athletic side of things, like we're we've come, we're coming from that performance side, so I think that gives us a little bit of an edge for fit and functionality when we're out, and then we have a big military presence and background, so that you know being in the field and then partnering with Aaron and putting you know bringing all of that together, I think is giving us just a touch of an edge, um, and then we're sticking with solids. You know, we're not going to go into the camo; we're going to stick in the solids game. Um, but we're bringing some new products this year. We had a really good year last year, which is really our first year. That was kind of like your beginning. Yeah, that was really our beginning. So solids, no camo. Yeah. What's your rebuttal to those that like think they need camouflage clothing for hunting? Cut a lot of stuff without camo. I think a lot of people cut a lot of stuff without I camo. I kind of like wearing cool hunting gear that doesn't have camo when I'm on a date. Well, I think that's the thing. You know, it's, it's functional. It's multi-purpose. Yeah. If you're going to buy you know, a $200 pair of pants, why should they just sit until you're hunting? Like, let's you know, take it on date night, go to work, do whatever you got to do. You have a flower tattoo? For the region's only children. All right, Job, let's talk. MFJJ, let's talk lubrication. <laughs> so most people don't know this or don't pay attention to it. It's very common when you're shooting in a 3D shoot to put arrow lube on your arrow. And inside of 50 yards, that really doesn't matter. That's not a big deal. But if you're shooting from you know 50 to 130, like some of these tack events, that's actually adding weight to your arrow. So if you are going to use it past those distances, you better make sure when you sight it in your bow that you actually lubed your arrows every time because it'll add weight and make you hit lower. Food for thought. What are you doing? Boom. I'm, I'm inventing a new clip onto your bow. So you can just sit there and wait for I'll have one for you. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a million dollars out of it then. Fantastic. Yeah, you did you let the right change at all or anything? Uh I, I no, the right it stayed right on. Went right back to the work. I did actually. Yeah, I thought he was uh, gonna be taller than he was. He's a short little bastard. <laughs> Do you feel perfect? <laughs> hey, blur my face out. <laughs> Negative. Are, are, are you a big? Are you a big deal? Damn it! a big deal? Are you a big deal? Dan from Elk Shape. This is John this is from Elk Shape. So Park Lowe. This is Dan from Elk Shape. Yes, this is true. He's a, lot, he's a lot. He's a lot taller in person than he appears on the He's a hit. I'll take nice. Small deal instead of a big deal. Ah. <laughs> you bet.